So in this escape, we're looking at sucking out this right arm and taking my opponent's back. Now, I call this one the cauliflower escape because in order to escape this one, he has such a tight hold around your head that usually you rip your cauliflower rear up on his, on his jacket and his arm just trying to get your head out. But if it saves you getting out of a hold down in a competition, then it's definitely well worth it. So what I'm looking at doing here is he's got a really good position and I don't like it. He's got his arm really tight and everything like that. So what I'm looking at doing is the same thing as the first one. I'm gonna bridge and try to make him post his hand on the mat. Because when he posts his hand, he lets go of this arm. At the moment, this arm's stuck and it's, it's not going anywhere because it's in his armpit. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug him. I can either grab his belt or grab, I can gable grip my hands. And then I bridge and watch him, he, he, he posts his hand out. So I bridge, see how his hand comes out? Now with my right hand, I, I, I pivot with my legs onto the floor and I suck my hand in really tight. Now here with my left hand, I push out and I can take his back and get a good position. So one more time. We're here, he's very tight. Okay, he's very tight. I bridge, he posts that hand. Now from here, I, uh, I pull his hand out and I, I try to tuck, I duck my head out here and I escape the technique. You have a go, Tillon. So it's really important that a few things. The first one is, bridge, if I don't post this hand, it won't work. But if I don't post the hand, he can bridge up and roll me, up and over. He can. But if he bridges again, he bridges, I post. This elbow comes down. Now the hard part is this. I've still got a really tight grip on his head, which means his left hand has to push on the back of my shoulder as he pops his head out to complete the technique.